Hello, you're all very welcome back to day four of our novena in honour of St. Martin de Porres. And we all want to be like St. Martin, we, and we all want to be able to do the things that he did in his life. And St. Martin's most motivation was his desire to help and do good, and that came from his prayer. His prayer life was very important to him and central to him. Prayer was at the heart of his life. He would often spend time all night at prayer and there were times when he was seen levitating uh, during his prayer. At the heart of St. Martin's prayer was the Eucharist. Martin would stay up a long time after the Eucharist uh, in, in prayer of thanksgiving. Holy Communion nourished him and gave him his great strength. Prayer is very much part of our novena in honour of St. Martin. Let us pray. Most humble St. Martin, whose burning charity embraces all, but especially those who are sick, afflicted or in need, we turn to you for help in our present difficulties. And we implore you to obtain for us from God health of soul and body, and in particular the favour we now ask. May we, by imitating your charity and humility, find quiet and contentment all our days and cheerful submission to God's holy will in all the trials and difficulties of life. Pray for us, St. Martin, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who exhausts the humble and who made St. Martin thy confessor to pass to the heavenly kingdom, grant through his merits and intercession that on earth we may so imitate his humility as to deserve to be exalted with him in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen.